Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back today. We're in downtown Mesa Paphos, and what we're going to do is go for a little drive out towards the Coral Bay area. We're going to make a couple of videos out there, so come back for those a little bit later on. But before we go, Miss Ochi Recibi Labouf, she's in charge of the ship, and there she is, Recibi Labouf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again. And again. Are you well? I hope so. Right, come on Leboeuf, let's go. So off we go. So we are approaching the main roundabout which takes us down to the Cato Paphos Harbour area from the Paphos Mall. So we've come from Uptown Paphos and when you look now to the right, that is the downtown Kings Avenue Mall. So that's the big shopping mall in downtown Cato Paphos. So we're gonna take a right at this roundabout and then we're gonna head out towards the Coral Bay and that is in the Paya area of downtown Paphos, which is in Cyprus, obviously. Now, if you look ahead of us, you will see a steel structure coming round up there and that is the Paphos Skywalk, which we have now done three times. We officially opened it by walking the right way, then we officially opened it by walking the wrong way, and then we officially opened it walking the wrong way upside down, if I remember rightly. Is that right, Receiving the booth? Well, yes, right, wrong, upside down. That's right, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Approved. <laughs> Approved. So if you come back next week, what we're gonna do is abseil down the sides just to add a little bit of spice to our lives and your lives. Anyway, here we are. This is what's known as the Tomb of the King's Road, hence why the mall at the end of it is called King's Avenue Mall. So you've got various shops to either side of us from the Three Little Pigs takeaway to the Sun Fresh Bakery here to the left, and then you've got a couple of tourist shops and uh, higher car businesses, cafes, that sort of thing all around us. You've got an Indian restaurant to the right there, which is called the Indian Thai Express, so it says Indian food and Thai food. You've got the Pit Stop pub there to the right. You've got Mamma Mia's restaurant to the right. And then you've got a series of other restaurants on our left here. King Aphrodite is to my left now. And then at these traffic lights, if we look to the right, you will see the King's Hotel which we haven't forgotten you, Ronnie. All the way over there in the Holy Land, we haven't forgotten you, and one of these days, we are gonna go in there, ask for Miss Nadia, and make another especially for you, that is for sure. So, as we proceed up the Kings Avenue Road, you've got a kiosk on the right-hand side there, you've got the Tomb of the, Ki sorry, I'm losing my English. You've got T for Two on Tomb of the Kings Road, you've got McDonald's to my left, and we keep on going, property developers, there's a supermarket to my left, there's a big gift shop to my left, and then you've got a parade of shops over there. So this is downtown Tomb of the Kings area now, that's for sure. You've got Mamma Mia's coming up, or Fat Mamas, that's what it's called there. Very, very popular restaurant, farmhouse, the Oceans restaurant, and the Durio restaurant, you've got a hospital place there. There's an awful lot going on in that area. You cannot name all those shops in one mouthful, that's for sure. You've got Gusto's over there, very popular place, especially on a Sunday. It does a, well, a buffet to die for. 25 euros, all you can eat, and well, it's impossible to even taste all of the food that is out on show. It truly is an exceptional one. Now, this roundabout is actually the Tomb of the King's roundabout. Because if you go left, you go into the archaeological site which is known as Tomb of the Kings. There it is. You pay 250 euros a pop, so that's 250 euros each. I think children under the age of five are free. And in you go, and you can have a wander around and you see some of the old burial sites, that sort of thing, and some old rocks, should we say, lying around. Now, if we keep going along here, we are going to come to the Venus Beach Hotel on our left hand side a very nice hotel which as its name suggests does sit on the beach so you've got the pool out the back and then another few meters and you will be straight onto the beautiful beautiful blue blue mediterranean sea now over there you've got an array of cafes property sellers and hire car companies just over there there's a couple of nice restaurants over there you've got d, d and t's is one place and at the end well 
there used to be a fish and chip called Riley's, a fish and chip shop called Riley's, which was very good, but unfortunately, during the pandemic or just before it, it closed down. Now, if you do want fish and chips, the greatest fish and chip shop in the world is actually in Cato Pathos. You take a right just after Alexander the Great Hotel, swing round towards Bar Street, and there it is. Greatest fish and chips in the world. Brasilia? I would like to say that this street is going more and more busy, uh, not year by year, but week by week. Yeah, because it is. Yeah, it's picking up. Yeah. of the people, yeah, picking up. The people are coming more and more, and they would like to sit. You know, there is not enough restaurants and bars and mm -hmm. cafeterias mm -hmm. yeah, around for all this amount of people. Yeah, That's I mean that is actually true. I mean, obviously, as with a lot of things, talking about COVID nineteen things should we say regressed and closed down shut production was cut and of course now well production needs to ramp up because all covid restrictions are off every man baby and dog is coming to cyprus on the holidays and to be honest in many cases there are not enough restaurants cafeterias to cope with that capacity but that's a good thing honestly so we invite you all to come bring your dog if you wish your cat obviously your children, even your wife if you want to, and get yourself out and come and have a great, great holiday in the great Paphos area. There's many areas of Paphos to go to. The two most popular are Cato Paphos Harbour areas, we call it. And the second, equally as popular, is the Coral Bay area, which is where we're going. Receive The Coral Bay area is very well known uh, about the foreigners. In a, uh, they know that uh, the Coral Bay beaches are the best, you know, sandy beaches where you can uh, have a rest and accept that when you get hungry or you get tired, you always have a nice shade and a nice restaurant around. Yeah, you do. I mean, most people that have been to Cyprus before, whether they've been to Coral Bay or heard of Coral Bay, are told that Coral Bay has sandy beaches and it does. It has the best beaches in the Paphos area and as they continue out towards the Akamas area, they are pretty much all sandy. There's a few rocks about, but in general, they're very sandy. And uh, it also has the Coral Bay Strip, as it's called, which is lined with restaurants, bars, fun bars, drinking bars, that sort of thing, and a few gift shops, obviously, and some good restaurants and some, should we say, more snacky bar restaurants. But there's something there for pretty much everyone. And at this time of year, it's pretty busy. We're gonna arrive there, should we say, at a funny time after lunch, but before the evening time. So it's probably gonna be quite quiet, which is gonna be good for us when we're walking up and down, if you understand me, because the pavements are not that wide. And, well, you do have people going up and down quad bikes, that sort of stuff. Now, this road, this part of the road here is pretty good. Have a look at that. But the road back when Miss Oching Recibi Le Bouffe was chatting away was absolutely Sherlock Holmes. And even this old girl of a car, which is, I believe, the greatest car in the world, was having trouble isolating us from all of the manholes, the potholes, and all the other Sherlock Holmes things that were on the road. Recibia? This car is amazing because, uh, well, it's been good looked after, first of all. And the second, um, I believe if, if this car had a tank, it would swear yeah, of the roads, it would, yeah. which are Sherlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The roads in Cyprus, are, and I understand in many of the countries as well, they are truly Sherlock Holmes. This is my English, she's stealing it. And But some of the roads in Cyprus, you, you don't just have potholes, you have pothole on pothole on pothole, and then just for the sake of it, they'll put another pothole next door to it. Anyway, here we go. We are now at the St. George Hotel crossroads so if we go to the left we will go to the st george hotel and if we go to the right we will go up into downtown clarica village and there across the road is one of miss oching recibia la rivals look at that that is the sophocles paint shop just so you understand people don't understand miss oching recibia la mixes paint for cars and coming down there was a van from a rival company that mixes paints for cars. Anyway, I digress. That down there is the St. George's Hotel, and it is right on the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea, as you can see. Keep going, the booth. And then this one is the Leonardo Laura next to us, and it has a beach and a splash resort with it, as you can see. 
And again, it is right on the beach, as its name would suggest. Quite a nice hotel. We have not entered that hotel correctly or wrongly. We have not entered it because no one has told us that they're gonna stay there yet. So if you are gonna stay there, let us know and we'll go make an especially for you video, that's for sure. To the left now is the Maracas Lounge. So if you wingle down to the car park, you come to a rather nice bar, restaurant, and well, it has a view to die for, that is for sure. Brasilia? And it is a view to die for. You know, they've um, developed that side of the uh, Maracas Long Bar, as I say, mm -hmm. so much. They have, everyone can find what to do there. Even the kids, or the older people, or the younger people, or the children like me. Barracas Bar is a very nice bar and it's all been concreted with raised areas and that sort of stuff. And literally you can die for the view because if you walk to the view, the drop is about 30 meters because, because that's what makes the view so dramatic and so spectacular. So please be careful if you go right to the edge of the shoreline because obviously you could die for it. Anyway, here we are in downtown Kisonaga. So this area here is Kisonaga. It's the piece that joins Kloraka all the way out to the great, great Coral Bay. So often around here you find a lot of new villas being built, as we can see there. And then there's some older villa villas. And then lots of these are villas to rent to tourists, short term or long term. And then there's an awful lot up in the orange groves and the banana groves. And then over here you've got the, uh, well, how do you say it? Atlantica Golden Atlantica. Beach Hotel. Yeah. But it was called something else before, but you know, to be we Amalfia. forget. Amalfia. Amalfia. We'll rename that something else later. So, quite a nice hotel, because I can't say it, but that's the Atlantica Hotels and Resort. So if you're gonna stay there, drop it in the comments, and guess what? We'll go and have a look around it. We'll blast our way through the front entrance, try and avoid the security and the management, and end up out on the plage, for sure. Parade of shops either side of us. So anything you can want, from having your car detailed, to a butcher's, to use pool chemicals, send your computer, or a Sanuvenir, or a can of Coke. That's where you would go. And then this crossroads here takes you up into Kasonaga, if we go right, and takes you down to the left to the Cynthiana Hotel. Again, no one has told us they're gonna stay at that hotel. So of course, we have not visited that hotel. And that hotel, as I'm sure you can understand, if you look in the distance, sits right on the beach. There we go. Now, a little supermarket to our left-hand side, and it's got its own little coffee shop called Raff Coffee. Coffee? What is my English? Coffee. And that's the greatest coffee in the whole of Kasonaga, that is for sure. Trader shops either side of us, with all sorts of bits and bobs going on, from health and wellness centres to buying a coffee. Over here, again, you've got another Atlantica group hotel, and this one is called the Mara Village Paphos which one of these days, we are gonna go and do a hit and run on, because it does look like a very nice hotel indeed. So here we go, stick with us. As the road continues, it's still a little bit Sherlock Holmes, this road. You may have understood from the camera yeah. jolting around a little bit. And we're only driving at about, what, 50 kilometers an hour. So that's about 30 miles an hour, and the car is not happy, shall we say. So this is the drop down to the crossroads where the Kasonaga drop-down road joins to the main Paphos to Coral Bay Road. So if you stick with us for a few more seconds, we will come to the CU Beach Bar. And you'll understand it's a bar, obviously it's on the beach. If you go hunting back in our earlier videos, you will find us playing in the Chopsy Waves. Uh, I think we're watching Receiver Booth lets out a yelp as a wave does get her. And I think I managed to get her on camera as she was looking a little bit sorry for herself because she got very wet. So here it comes. That there is the CU Beach Bar. And I'll bring the camera around. I'm sure you can see the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea in the background. Car park about half full. So it's a pretty busy place indeed. And there's the view. Have a look at that. Now, in the distance over there as we come round, you can hopefully just start to see a peninsula sticking out. That is downtown Coral Bay. And now as the camera comes round, that is uptown Coral Bay, we'll call it. 
and as we scan around into the mountains, that is lower payer, mid payer, and uptown payer. Receiving on the booth. Well, payer is a bit far away from Paphos, but lots of people like it because of the relief of it. Payer is the most popular place in the whole of Paphos district, if not the whole island of Cyprus, for foreigners. So if you are a foreign national, immaterial of where you've come from, this is probably the most highly designated place for them. So there's an awful lot of British, Russian, Ukrainian, French, German, Swiss, you get the idea. Most of them live here. To give you another couple of figures, Payer, so that includes Coral Bay and all the other little areas around it, Residents about 8,000 and of those 8,000 registered 4,000 of them are foreigners Majority being English anyway, so number one choice for foreigners to buy a property Somewhere in or around the payer area and there's reasons for that It's got great beaches because they're in Coral Bay. It's got the Coral Bay Strip So you've always got a restaurant or a cafe on top of that there are cafes tavernas and coffee shops scattered around and on top of all that it's probably got the greatest supermarket in the whole of Cyprus not just Paphos you heard me correctly it has a supermarket called Philobos and that supermarket started off in and around 2009 and it's grown to be a monster and it's huge compared to the population of Paya and people from all around Paphos and I say that again, all around Paphos, drive out to Payer to go to the Philippos supermarket because we're at Coral Bay, by the way. Should have stopped. If we go left, you will see the sign that says Coral Bay. But I just want to take you to show you what I'm actually talking about. The Philippos supermarket is going to come up. The sign is in the distance now and it's going to come up on our right in about 15 seconds. It's by Cypress standards huge and the reason why it's huge is because it sells pretty much any product that any foreigner can want. If you're British and you want your brand of baked beans or tomato sauce or whatever it is, that's where you go. If you're Russian and you want a gherkin of your brand etc etc or caviar, that's where okay, you go. Yeah, that's where you go. Yep, it means that's dumplings. where you go. That's Philippos. Yep. And by Cyprus standards, the place is huge. It's about a mid size to us British people. But he's now built at the back of it a furniture shop. He's now got a massive DIY shop. And on top of all of that, he wanted even more of the foreigners' money. So he has opened Phil's restaurant. And the food in there, guess what? It's very, very good. So his plan is to get your money for your shopping. Your plan, his plan is to get your money for your pool chemicals. His plan is to get your money for all of your furniture. And on top of all that, his plan is to get your money when you want to drink or food. Keep going, the booth, because we're going to come out in downtown Coral Bay. So we're on a back road now because we're diverted to show you the Philippos supermarket. Just follow the road round. And if you look in the distance, Labouf, what can you see? Parasailing, parasailing, parasailing. parasailing. Look in the distance, parasailing, 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 parasailing. Follow the road round, Labouf. Parasailing. And we're going to come out in downtown Coral Bay, which is where we're going to give you a very, very big goodbye. And we're going to say thanks very, very much for watching. And if you do like what you see, please hit that like, click subscribe, and come back for some more of our madness. If you want us to take you on some more of our driving little videos, let's take a left for booth, because there's the second cup coffee shop there. So that means just up there is the Coral Bay Strip. So we're going down, as these people are here, they're walking to, well, the most famous beach in the whole of Patfoss, and it's gonna come up on our left-hand side, and that beach is the Coral Bay Beach. So just pull up, just down there, Leboeuf, and we'll scan around. And then you will give the lovely people a very, very big goodbye. So there we go. That is Coral Bay Beach. So you actually descend through the car park and then you go down some steps and you end up actually on the plage. Let's have a big goodbye, Leboeuf. Thank you very much for watching us. 
Thank you very much for your time that you're spending with us and we love you to be and let's see us in another analysis. There you go. There's three nutters. You can't get away from these people. <laughs> We're responsible for a lot of things. Bye. Thanks for watching. And there's a bus coming all the way from Paphos, dropping off some nice people at the Coral Bay Beach. See you later.